Hi, and welcome to Carvers. Today we are going to talk about the brand new Fisker Ocean. Before we start the video please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell in order not to miss the latest car news. With so many new models hitting the market, the tide is turning in favor of electric cars, and Fisker Automotive hopes to take advantage of this trend with its aptly called Ocean SUV. The most affordable variant has a starting price of $40,000 and a 250-mile projected range. All other Oceans are all-wheel drive, dual-motor vehicles with a minimum of 540 horsepower and a 4.0 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time. The longest model is anticipated to travel more than 350 kilometers on a single charge. The 2023 Fisker Ocean is not only a stylish SUV in the mold of the Range Rover Evoque, but it also has a number of unusual available features. A 17.1-inch touchscreen in the middle that can move both vertically and horizontally is noteworthy, as is a mode that opens the back glass, all of the side windows, and the roof panel to simulate the windswept interior of a convertible. If the Tesla-obsessed public will be impressed by the Ocean's range ratings, performance boasts, and parlor tricks remain to be seen. The Fisker Ocean's design does the talking. No matter what angle you look at the car from, the hood and back end immediately attract your attention. We could see over the top of the car since we are 5 feet 10 inches tall, or 70 inches. The Fisker Ocean measures 188 inches long, 64.2 inches tall, 78.5 inches wide, and 115 inches wide at the wheelbase. The open sky roof is stunning, making it the biggest sunroof next to a convertible we've ever seen in person. The next time we get a close-up look at a more recent Fisker Ocean prototype, we can't wait to see the solar sky roof. The big sore blue paint is magnificent. When the Fisker Ocean is driving down the road, this gorgeous paint job will undoubtedly draw attention. That matte coating is amazing and does a great job of obscuring dirt, dust, and fingerprints. We spent nearly two hours at the event, and only once did we witness the exterior being rapidly cleaned. A member of the Fisker crew used a soft cloth and cleaning solution in a spray bottle to clean it. The paint on the Fisker Ocean remained largely unharmed despite all the attendees' fingers, hands, and arms touching it. However, it still doesn't make us change our minds about our original color selection. In person, the 22F3 slipstream wheels are larger than they appear in pictures. It's hard to believe, but it's true. The exhibit Fisker Ocean showcased the 22F3 slipstream wheels with a grayscale logo and a black finish. These slipstream wheels are constructed of recycled carbon fiber and aluminum. We have always been curious as to how the carbon fiber was installed in the wheel. Now that we have examined these wheels up close and thoroughly, it is evident. We notice some additional items on the Fisker Ocean's exterior. Embossed Fisker emblems can be found all over the car. For instance, the raised design is noticeable when you run your fingers over a Fisker emblem. Literally, that is a very beautiful touch. We saw moisture collecting in the lower taillights as we looked at the back of the car. This is probably due to the components not being airtight. Not to mention how many cars washes this prototype automobile has passed through in such a short time. This shouldn't be a problem with the finished products. The inside design shows that the Fisker team gave it the same amount of care as the external design. First of all, don't believe what you see in interior Molly Blue images. It appears much better in person. The interior of the Molly Blue looked fantastic even with the San Diego Convention Center's indoor lighting. Without a doubt, the interior of the Molly Blue looks nicer in person than it does in pictures. It's also funny to imagine that recycled materials were used to construct the inside. It isn't even apparent. The Fisker Ocean's interior is flawless. The Fisker Ocean's interior is incredibly roomy overall. There is plenty of legroom in the driver and passenger seats up front. For a prototype, the driver's and passenger's seats are spacious and pleasant. We barely spent 10 minutes in the car, but it was comfy. The eco suede seats have a lovely, velvety feel. To the touch, extremely smooth. Your body is hugged and supported in the right places by the driver and passenger seats. The dashboard and the sturdy, environmentally friendly floor mats all had pleasant textures. Not being able to see the back seats was a little frustrating. We wanted to experience what it was like to ride in the back seat of the car. One more time. Each seat's headrest in the Fisker Ocean appears to have been fashioned to resemble a wave breaking. When watching waves crash at the beach, you could occasionally spot a barrel or two. That is how we would sum up the Fisker Ocean's headrest design. You've probably never heard that one in any of the public videos or articles. A Fiskarati first, indeed. That is the difference between seeing the car in person and seeing it in pictures and movies. The smaller particulars count. The storage space in the center of the center console, behind the cup holders and wireless charging, was one of our favorite features. 
That was a pretty thoughtful addition to storing extra miscellaneous items. This is especially true considering that the glove box in the car was not visible. The taco tray's indentation, however, could be seen close to the front passenger seat. Additionally, we learned how to lock the doors from inside the car. The design is creative, but it's difficult to see from photographs how deep the handle is. The base sport models will have a front-wheel drive powertrain with a single motor that generates 275 horsepower and has a range of 250 miles. Dual motor all-wheel drive and a power plant with a maximum output of 540 horsepower will be used in the mid-level Ultra, extending the vehicle's range to 340 miles. With a torque vectoring system in the drivetrain, the top-tier Extreme and Limited Edition Ocean 1 enhance the power to 550 horsepower and range to 350 miles. The Sport takes 6.9 seconds, according to the manufacturer, while the Ultra accelerates to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds. The Extreme and Ocean 1 takes 3.6 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. The Ocean is designed for many terrains, although the majority of crossovers seldom venture off the pavement. Two basic drive modes for all vehicles will be earth and fun. Off-road is offered with the Extreme and Ocean 1 trims, while Hyper is introduced to the Ultra model. The upper trims are rated to pull up to 4,000 pounds, while the base sport model can tow up to 2,040 pounds. Fisker has not disclosed the useful capacity of the Ocean's various size batteries. However, according to the EPA, the single motor vehicle can go 250 miles on a single charge. That range estimate can go beyond 350 miles with twin motors. The Fisker and Electrify America partnership allows owners of the Ocean to get an unspecified number of free charging sessions. The Ocean is also compatible with the majority of EV charging stations. Although the exact charging times for the Ocean have not been disclosed, we have been informed that under perfect circumstances, the roof-mounted solar panels, known as Solar Sky, may provide up to 2,000 miles of range annually. That assertion must still be verified, though. The focus of the Ocean's interior is a huge touchscreen, much like a Tesla. The 17.1-inch display, unlike a Tesla, can switch between portrait and landscape configurations based on road conditions. The infotainment system of the base model has a Harman slash Kardon sound as standard equipment, despite the fact that its screen is mounted vertically. All models, aside from the Sport model, offer the cutting-edge swiveling touchscreen and a more potent audio setup. The Fisker Ocean is open for reservations, and prospective customers can reserve a vehicle for $250 online. Pricing begins at $37,499 for the entry-level sport model and increases to $49,999 for the mid-range Ultra. The highest-end Extreme and Ocean 1 trim start at $68,999. Drivers can take advantage of a federal tax credit of up to $7,500, which could bring the starting price for the midsize SUV to just under $30,000. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more following videos.